AWS is the leading cloud service provider in the world, and DevOps is currently being adopted by many companies because of its various benefits. Both these technologies are advanced, and together, they prove to be a boon to companies. AWS and DevOps practices help facilitate infrastructure provisioning and management, application code deployment, software release automation, and application and infrastructure performance monitoring. In this video, we will talk about these two technologies together in detail. Before we get started, I would like to address the agenda for today's session. We will start our session with a brief understanding of what AWS and DevOps are. Then, we will understand what AWS DevOps is and talk about the AWS DevOps tools. Finally, we will conclude the session by talking about why AWS is best suited for DevOps. I hope the agenda was clear. Before we start with our session, if you like this video, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, to learn more about DevOps and its practices, check out Invensys Learning's DevOps certification training which is curated for both beginners and experienced professionals. All of the necessary information is given in the description box below. Without further ado, let us get started. Our first topic is what is AWS? Amazon Web Services or AWS is a comprehensive, ever-evolving cloud computing platform offered by Amazon that combines infrastructure as a service or IaaS, platform as a service or PaaS, and software as a service or SaaS solutions. AWS services may provide an organization with computing power, database storage, content delivery services, and many other services. AWS provides organizations and software developers with a variety of tools and solutions that are compatible with data centers in up to 190 countries. They are used by many organizations, such as government agencies, educational institutions, nonprofit organizations, and private businesses. They provide more than 100 services, including those computing, databases, infrastructure management, application development, and security. These categories of services include compute, storage, database, management, and monitoring, security and governance, big data management, analytics, artificial intelligence, and many more. I think now you have some idea about what AWS is. Now, let us move on to our next topic and talk about what is DevOps. DevOps is a collection of cultural principles, processes, and technologies that increases an organization's ability to produce applications and services at a faster rate, hence increasing productivity when compared to traditional software development and infrastructure management approaches. So, DevOps is a set of methodologies that combine software development, that is, dev, with IT operations, that is, ops. Its objective is to reduce the system's development life cycle and consistently provide high-quality software. Due to this speed and efficiency, businesses are able to deliver superior customer service and remain competitive in the marketplace. To put it simply, DevOps is all about teams collaborating to design, build, and deliver reliable software at a faster rate. Its concepts allow software developers and operations teams to accelerate the delivery of goods or software by making use of automation, collaboration, fast feedback, and iterative improvement. So, I guess you have some idea about what DevOps is. Now, to understand how AWS can be used with DevOps, you need to understand the DevOps lifecycle. The DevOps lifecycle is a collection of automated development processes or workflows that occur inside an iterative development lifecycle. Continuous software development covers steps of integration, testing, deployment, and monitoring. Continuous development. In the phase of the program or software is designed and coded. The development phase encompasses all parts of planning and coding such as assigning team members with particular responsibilities, determining deadlines and tools, and so on. DevOps teams aim for innovation while preserving quality, stability, and efficiency. They do this by using highly productive tools, automating repetitive and manual operations, and iterating in a shorter production cycle using automated testing and continuous integration. Next is continuous testing. In the testing phase of the DevOps life cycle, the developed code is evaluated for mistakes and errors. This is where quality analysts examine the program or software to guarantee that it is operational. To decide whether the program matches the client's specifications, the quality assurance procedure must be successfully performed. In terms of function, this guarantees that the resulting software is error-free. The next phase is continuous integration. This is the most important stage in the DevOps life cycle. Continuous integration is a method of software development that requires developers to submit source code updates frequently. The update may be performed daily or weekly. 
Integration or code construction consists of compilation and code review, unit testing, integration testing, and packaging. In order to evaluate the performance of the program, each update and iteration is incorporated into the main software. As a result of making regular adjustments, teams are able to identify and fix issues rapidly. The next phase is continuous monitoring. Monitoring a software product's performance is essential for determining the output's long-term effectiveness. Through regular monitoring, developers may find general patterns and parts of the software that need additional attention. Continuous monitoring is an operational phase whose objective is to increase the overall efficiency of the software program. Additionally, it monitors the app's performance. The next phase is continuous feedback. The continuous feedback phase is a phase that determines how each release will affect the user experience. By evaluating the outputs of the software's operations, the development of the program is continuously improved. This is achieved by creating a crucial phase of continuous feedback between the operations and development teams of the existing software systems. This phase helps in the improvement of the next iteration by identifying areas for improvement and features that customers liked or disliked. The next phase is continuous deployment. Continuous deployment assures the goods are deployed without affecting the operation of the application. This method removes the need for scheduled releases and accelerates the feedback mechanism, enabling developers to react to problems more quickly and precisely. In addition, containerization systems provide continuous deployment by means of configuration management. The next phase is continuous operations. This phase consists of monitoring all steps of the DevOps lifecycle and IT operations. This phase validates that your application's health, performance, and dependability are updated. All DevOps operations are based on a foundation of consistency and complete automation of the release process, enabling the business to decrease its overall time to market continuously. I now guess you have some idea about DevOps lifecycle. So, let us move on to our main topic for today and discuss. What is AWS DevOps? AWS DevOps is a technique created to help an organization implement DevOps concepts with the AWS Cloud Platform services, apps, and software. AWS offers a choice of scalable options. With the support of AWS and DevOps, businesses can design and deliver products more effectively and fast. AWS DevOps streamlines a variety of business tasks, including program testing, resource management, product delivery automation, code distribution, and so on. This technology allows businesses to execute continuous integration and continuous delivery CI or CD activities, enabling them to save source code for software and monitor its versions while automatically developing, installing, and assessing it on AWS or on-premises. So, let us talk about some AWS tools that can be very useful in DevOps. There are majorly five AWS DevOps components, which are AWS Code Commit AWS Code Pipeline AWS Code Build AWS Code Deploy AWS Code Star See, all these services are used for different phases in the DevOps lifecycle. So it was very important to understand the DevOps L lifecycle first. So, now let us talk about each of these AWS services in detail. First, AWS Code Commit AWS Code Commit is a secure, highly scalable, managed source control service that hosts Git repositories for private use. Now, for people who do not know what Git repositories are. Git repositories include a collection of files related to various versions of a project. These files are imported from the repository to the user's local server for further updates and adjustments to the file's content. The VCS, or version control system, is used to produce and store these versions in a repository. AWS Code Commit makes it simple for teams to communicate securely on code by encrypting contributions in both transit and REST. Code Commit removes the need for you to operate your own source control system and be concerned with growing its infrastructure. Amazon will do that for you. AWS Code Commit was designed to help collaborative software development. You can simply commit, branch, and merge your code, helping you to keep track of your team's projects easily. Code Commit also supports pull requests, which give a method for requesting code reviews and collaborating on code. Using the AWS Management Console, AWS CLI, or AWS SDKs, you may build a repository and begin using Git to manage it. AWS Code Commit permits you to create up to 1,000 repositories by default and up to 25,000 repositories on demand. With your code, you can save and version any kind of file, including application resources like images, videos, files, and libraries. 
It is simple to build repositories as needed and remove them when no longer required. The second tool is AWS Code Pipeline. AWS Code Pipeline is a fully managed continuous delivery service that allows you to automate release pipelines for fast and safe infrastructure and application changes. Code Pipeline automates the build, test, and deploy stages of your release process based on the release model you set whenever there is a code change. This allows you to provide features and upgrades quickly and reliably. AWS Code Pipeline may be easily integrated with third-party services such as GitHub or your own custom plugin. Now, a pipeline provides the workflow of your release process and explains the development of a new code change through your release process. A pipeline includes a series of steps, such as build, test, and deploy, that logically divide your process. Each phase consists of a series of steps, such as constructing code or deploying it to test environments. AWS Code Pipeline offers a graphical user interface for creating, configuring, and managing your pipeline and its different phases and activities, enabling you to view and model your release process workflow with a simple structure. The third tool is AWS Code Build. AWS Code Build is a fully managed continuous integration service that compiles source code, executes tests, and generates deployment, ready software packages. You do not need to set up, maintain, and scale your own build servers. Code Build scales continuously and executes multiple builds simultaneously ensuring that your builds do not wait in a queue. Also, use prepackaged build environments, or you can create your own build environments using your own build tools. Now, let us understand how code build works. AWS code build executes your builds in predefined build environments that include the needed operating system, programming language runtime, and build tools, for example, Apache Maven, Gradle, and NPM. You have to simply identify the location of your source code and choose settings for your build, including the built environment to use and the build commands to execute during a build. AWS Code Build builds your code and saves the artifacts in an Amazon S3 bucket, or you may upload them to an artifact repository using a build command. Using AWS Code Pipeline, the AWS Management Console, AWS CL is, or SDKs, you may create, manage, and build projects. The fourth tool is AWS Code Deploy. AWS Code Deploy is a completely managed deployment solution that automates software deployments to many compute services, including Amazon EC2, AWS Lambda, and on-premises servers. AWS Code Deploy simplifies the delivery of new features, prevents downtime during application deployment, and manages the complexity of upgrading your applications. You can automate software deployments using AWS Code Deploy, reducing the need for error-prone human processes. Also, the service is scalable to meet your deployment requirements. Some of the features of Code Deploy are Code Deploy completely automates the deployment of your applications, removing the need for human processes. Next, through rolling updates and deployment health monitoring, Code Deploy protects your application from downtime during deployments. Then, Code Deploy provides centralized control of your deployments through the AWS Management Console, CLI, SDKs, or APIs enabling you to initiate, manage, and monitor your deployments. Next, you may view the deployment's progress down to the level of individual configuration events. Then, Code Deploy records and archives the recent history of your deployments, allowing you to study the deployment timeline and modification history. You may reuse your current setup code since AWS Code Deploy is platform and language agnostic and compatible with any application. Using the Code Deploy APIs, you can also link your application deployments with your current software delivery process or a continuous delivery tool chain. The fifth tool is AWS Code Star. AWS Code Star allows rapid development, building, and deployment on AWS. AWS Code Star offers a unified user interface, allowing you to handle all of your software development tasks in one location. You can build up your continuous delivery tool chain in minutes with AWS Code Star, enabling you to release code more quickly. AWS Code Star makes it simple for your whole team to collaborate securely by enabling you to quickly control access and add project owners, contributors, and viewers. AWS Code Star offers a variety of project templates to enable you quickly begin building apps for deployment on Amazon EC2, AWS Lambda, and AWS Elastic Beanstalk, with support for several popular programming languages, including Java, JavaScript, Python, Ruby, and PHP. You may use a code editor of your choosing with AWS Code Star, such as Visual Studio, Eclipse, or the AWS command line interface. 
AWS Code Star generates and packages your source code using AWS Code Build, and it helps facilitate the deployment of software with the help of AWS Code Pipeline, continuous integration, and continuous delivery service. Each project has a pre configured automated pipeline that builds, tests, and deploys your code with each change. So, this was about the AWS DevOps services. Now, let us move on to our next topic and discuss it. Why is AWS best suited for DevOps? Firstly, AWS provides totally managed services. You may use these services to access AWS resources more quickly. You need not worry as much about establishing, implementing, and maintaining infrastructure on your own. Thus, you can concentrate on your main goal. Second, it is built for scale. Using AWS services, you may manage a single instance or expand to thousands. These services simplify provisioning, setup, and scaling to help you maximize the use of flexible computational resources. The third is that it can be programmable. Each service is accessible through the AWS command line interface or via APIs and SDKs. Using declarative AWS CloudFormation templates, you can model and provide AWS resources as well as your complete AWS infrastructure. Fourth is automation. AWS enables you to leverage automation to develop more quickly and effectively. You may automate manual operations or processes like deployments, development and test workflows, container management, and configuration management using AWS services. Fifth is, it is secure. Utilize AWS Identity and Access Management or IAM to assign rights and policies to users. This provides you with granular control over who has access to your resources and how they do so. Finally, it has a large partner ecosystem. AWS provides a wide partner ecosystem that integrates and extends AWS services. You can use your preferred third-party and open-source technologies in combination with AWS to develop a complete solution. I would like to conclude the session by saying, AWS continually develops and adds new solutions to its list, and the extent of customization options with these solutions facilitates the usage of AWS DevOps with other services. All of these factors make AWS one of the most effective platforms for DevOps. DevOps aims to provide services that facilitate communication and cooperation across a company's many departments. AWS is useful for improving interorganizational communication with the help of its services. AWS features such as access and identity management enable DevOps team members to configure access levels, permissions, and rules for various project stakeholders. Additionally, AWS enables customers to see and share DevOps progress in real-time through a secure network environment. So, with this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope it was helpful. Comment your thoughts in the section below. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell, never to miss an update from the Invensys Learning Channel. Also, to learn more about DevOps and its practices, check out Invensys Learning's DevOps Certification Training. It is ideal for individuals and enterprises that are looking to gain a comprehensive understanding of DevOps principles, knowledge, and practical skills. Invensys provides interactive instructor-led DevOps master certification training with highly qualified, certified, and accredited trainers. All of the necessary information is given in the description box below. Thank you. Have a nice day.